So let's start with why the CTF is speaking out on taxes at the pumps in the first place. Well, drivers are feeling the pain of these high prices, and it's high taxes that make these high gas prices even more painful. And in many provinces, you have taxes that make up more than a third of the price of gas. So if politicians really care about affordability, they would be providing tax relief. But unfortunately, we're seeing the Trudeau government move in the opposite and wrong direction with its massively increasing carbon tax, which is going to take these already big tax bills at the pumps and make it even bigger. All right, sir. Well, as you mentioned, uh, more than a third of the price of gas in t is in taxes in some provinces. So what provinces are these? That's correct. Uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, Quebec, Ontario, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. And out of all of these provinces, sir, uh, which ones charge the most in Canada when it comes to carbon taxes on gasoline? Well, you, have to, you actually have to look at cities, and it's the city of Montreal where that's the case, uh, where 42% of the pump price can be in taxes. And, you know, we have to feel bad for our, our friends in Montreal who are drivers because they are paying six different types of taxes when they fuel up. Wow. Well, in, in addition to this, the CTF is saying that Canadians have to pay taxes on top of taxes at the pumps. So uh, tell us a little bit more about this additional tax. Yeah, that's it, it's extremely unfair. And, and that happens because the federal government and some provincial governments are charging a sales tax on top of these per liter fuel taxes. It's completely unfair. And what that really means today is that when we see these higher gas prices, when we see fuel taxes increase, it means that tax on ta tax costs Canadians more. And meanwhile, this carbon tax is only set to increase. So how much more could the average Canadian family spend on carbon taxes at the pumps by 2030? Yeah, it's really unfortunate that the Trudeau government is going to make life less affordable for Canadians with its massively increasing carbon tax, punishing Canadians for fueling our cars and heating our homes during cold winter months. Um, and Trudeau's carbon tax by 2030 will cost about 40 cents per liter for gasoline. All right, sir. And you mentioned in a release that Ottawa is implementing a second carbon tax. So uh, tell us more on this and how this would impact the overall cost of gas moving forward. Yeah, to add insult to injury, the Trudeau government announced its intentions to uh, impose what amounts to be a second carbon tax through fuel regulations. Uh, now, producers will be required to reduce the carbon content of their fuels, but if they can't meet Trudeau's requirements, they'll have to pay his second carbon tax. But it's not just going to be big industry that pays that second carbon tax. Those costs are going to be felt by everyday Canadians at the pumps. Uh, Trudeau's second carbon tax could end up costing up to 11 cents per liter of gasoline. Now that means that Trudeau's two carbon taxes would end up soaking a family for nearly 40 bucks every time they fill up their uh, minivan in 2030. All right, sir, just about a minute and a half left here, but let's talk about solutions. Uh, what is the CTF calling on the government to do in order to improve affordability and prices at gas stations? Well, if, if politicians, provincial and federal, if they really care about improving affordability for Canadians and drivers, then they're going to have to provide tax relief at the pump. That means reducing their fuel taxes and scrapping the damaging federal carbon tax. All right, sir, just about a minute left here. But is there anything that our Canadian viewers can do to get involved in this initiative? Yeah, I mean, first things first, you have to contact your provincial politicians, you have to contact your federal politician and tell them that enough is enough. Stop with these rising tax bills at the pumps. Um, but please also go to taxpayer.com, check out our newsroom for, for much more resources and also check out our latest uh, gas tax honesty day report. All right, Mr. Franco Terrazano, federal director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Always great having you on Forum Daily, sir. Thank you again for your time today. Well, thanks for having me on. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back after the break with a look at stories from around the world. A judge has temporarily blocked an abortion bill in Texas. The European Union recommends relief funds for consumers hit hardest by soaring energy prices. And Ethiopia accuses UN officials of worsening the humanitarian crisis in the Tigray region. These stories and more when we come back after the break. So stay with us. More news after the break. <laughs> 